Well, today I'm going to take a crack at getting some of this wood shaped and uh, installed back on the boat. The first project will be to deal with the Samson posts. That's these guys here. I've already rounded off the corners and drilled a couple of holes. I need to uh, measure and test fit and do a little bit of routing on them. Um, and then hopefully they'll be ready to go back in. I also managed to get some penetrating epoxy. One of the problems that the wood on the boat had before was rot, as you know, if you've been watching the videos. And uh, so I'm going to preempt any rottage by uh, starting with penetrating epoxy. So the open grain ends uh, at either end and where I've drilled holes, I will coat with penetrating epoxy. Um, when I go to install it, this is going to be inside the boat, so I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, but the exterior pieces, like the boomkin pieces, I will drill them oversized, fill them up with epoxy, and then re-drill them. Fortunately for me, I've managed to procure blueprints for just about the entire boat. If you look here, you can see uh, I've got the blueprint for the Samson post. So that's what I'm working towards, getting it into that shape. I also have the old Samson post to use as a... Samson posts. I've got them uh, roughly into shape, and routed and smoothed off, and uh, now it's time to test fit and mark for uh, bolt holes. So they go in the deck like this. Remember this? This is the chain locker. And there's the anchor post or the Simpson post. So I need to mark the holes to drill them up there and down below. And then I'm going to drill them. So looking good at the moment. Well, here you have a Samson post. Drilled, milled, cut, fit, ready to install other than a little bit of finishing. Gonna do some sanding and then I'm going to um, put penetrating epoxy on it and some uh, varnish. It should be ready to go on. So next on the agenda is the boomkin. I've cut my boomkin pieces to length and I'm going to bullnose the edges. They're quite sharp and if they get knocked around, they'll splinter. So to prevent that, we'll bullnose them. And then uh, need to make some cuts on that and drill some holes on that.
Well, it's three o'clock in the afternoon. I've been working all day. I've got um, a serious dent into the boomkin pieces. I've got them uh, cut to length, I've rounded off the, the ends, and uh, routed bull nosed the edges. Except for this one, I haven't finished yet. And I've marked out for um, the bolt holes to drill it in preparation for drilling. So it's time for a break. And of course, the afternoon break of champions is going to be PBJ, peanut butter and jelly sandwich. That should uh, boost my energy levels for another few hours. Get going. You should take a break too. Sure. got my boomkin pieces cut, trimmed, and drilled, and uh, almost ready to start reinstalling the hardware on them. Got to clean up the holes a bit. But one step forward, two steps back, that piece is just about perfect. But when I started drilling this piece, I noticed something. I don't know if you can see it from there. See this black line? I'll bring it in close for a good look here. That line? That's actually a crack in the wood. This is very expensive Douglas fir. Had it custom milled. This is a piece I trimmed off the, uh, the end to make it 63 inches. So that's what's inside there. That's what'll happen to this if it uh, undergoes any stress, it'll just break. So this piece has to go back. That's gonna take another week or so. Well, that's disappointing. 